Our pets are our family, which is why we want to make sure they have the very best. So imagine finding out their pet food caused them to develop heart failure. 13 on your side, health reporter Val Lego took a look at grain-free dog foods and why the deaths of hundreds of dogs prompted the FDA to open a formal investigation. Our story begins with Joey, the lovable pup of 13 on your side's Kirk Montgomery. He just profoundly changed my life and people would always say it was so gracious of you to rescue Joey and I said no, Joey rescued me. They were together for nearly 12 years. He just had this charismatic, almost mischievous personality and that's where calling him my little scamp came from. Joey was a Cocker Spaniel mix and always had allergies, which is why Kirk fed him a grain-free diet, never dreaming he was actually doing him harm. The first thing they asked me was, what are you feeding him? And I said, well, I've, I've been feeding him this grain-free. Joey had heart failure, and he wasn't alone. According to the FDA, hundreds of dogs have gotten the same diagnosis. Some even died because they were eating a grain-free dog food. We know that there's a link between grain-free foods, specifically foods that we think have lentils and peas and maybe sweet potatoes in them. Um, so those foods then are causing uh, dilated cardiomyopathy. Ryan Carpenter is a veterinarian for Family Friends Veterinary Hospital. Over the last year, I think there's been more knowledge about it, and so we're looking for pets that may be on a grain-free food and then kind of screening them or paying closer attention to um, what's going on with them. That's because in 2018, the FDA opened an investigation into the potential link between grain-free food and heart failure in dogs. They found that grain-free foods blocked the absorption of taurine, a significant amino acid needed for a dog's heart to function. So it's a micronutrient, um, and in the heart it, it is allowing the heart to pump normally and exhibit normal symptoms. In addition to finding the taurine link, the FDA also discovered certain breeds of dogs are affected more. Labrador retrievers, mixed breeds, and golden retrievers top the list. Okay, come on, Halo. Come on in, Halo. Halo is a golden retriever. Good girl. <laughs> Jan brought her to Family Friends oh, Veterinary girl. Hospital because she noticed Halo was lethargic and had recently learned about the health issues associated with grain-free food. We decided to check a taurine level, and that taurine level was, in fact, low. Um, so from there, we sent her to the cardiologist. The cardiologist diagnosed her with some mild cardiac changes, started a taurine supplement, and now her taurine levels are normal. Her heart function is back to normal, so she's good to go and good to return to the competition ring. I train her especially for obedience, competitive obedience. For Jan, spreading the word about the link between grain-free foods and heart failure has become her mission, because if caught early, the damage can be reversed. I'm very passionate about it because it is treatable, and I would hate to think about her just dropping dead, which is what some of them have done. But for some, like Joey, the diagnosis comes too late. I miss him. I miss him. The FDA is continuing to investigate the link between grain-free dog food and heart failure. They've learned that the age of the dog doesn't matter. Puppies as young as six months to dogs who are 15 years old have been affected. The FDA is asking anyone who has fed their dog this type of diet to participate in their study. In the online version of this story, I've included a link for how to participate, as well as a list of the dog food brands associated with the FDA investigation and the four brands recommended for your dog. You can find all of that extended coverage on 13onyourside.com.